that are interested due to how they reconstitute themselves within their within their numbers that we cannot get you know, we cannot basically be be confident that they won't continue coming after us like i said before and, it's most likely somebody who's close to you that's uh, spread on the word if you can identify who that person is and get them to to admit to what they've done, perhaps those they will stop using the cult to follow after you. Okay, so, so basically what he's saying, we don't, he said someone we got a trade gave off. the cult information? Is he's that meta That's, that's the most saying. likely, yes, that's me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Basically, we have a traitor. But if if it if it's Either. not, then you then you have a bigger problem on your hands, and you'll need assistance. Well, okay. one, we don't know either, and two, it could not be a traitor. It could literally be someone who doesn't like us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we live in a school of people who know each other. Okay. Right. We'll keep that in mind. I assume if we find out something much more sinister, we may rely on some assistance from you. Hmm. Of course. We Thank are you. here to separate the sheep after all. Thank you. Right. Well, hey, nice like you, we man. said. <laughs> so look at like Reiko and Ryu and be like, well, like you said, it is rather late and we do have to finally prepare ourselves for the tests. <laughs> hmm. Thank you again. I will be off then. Thank you for the hospitality. Thank you. And please say a prayer for us next week. <laughs> and she will be like, right, I suppose I'll, I'll, I'll take you to the exit. Thanks, Su-chan. Thanks, Thanks Super Su-chan. <laughs> and right. here we'll sidle up next to Raph in the elevator and be like, you, mean, you have some interesting words. You pick interesting words. I, I will take that as a compliment, even though I know it isn't. No. No. No, it isn't. I was just trying to sound like what Rio says. And this must be what Rio feels like. Well, oh, boy. At least we didn't step in as much as we used to, so... Progress. Mm. Mm. Right. <sighs> At least good luck solved now. Yeah, that's a pickle. Hmm. Let's go home. Yeah. Turn to Reiko. Happy you came along? Yeah, it's 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 fine. <laughs> we we need to drink Don't... Akira. Yeah, she's just like, like, like a she's just like, just like an arm around her shoulder, yes. Yes, we need to relax. Come on. <laughs> I got some shit under my bed. Too bad Naomi can join us, she would like it. I think. Mm, probably. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, sweet dreams. Yeah, you get some rest, Raph. Yeah, make sure and drink plenty of water for your uh, dried tongue. Mm-hmm. No worries. I like. I imagine like my one of my like hands is like over the shoulder of Akira. So, like my head is like slightly. Uh, we are big girls. We know how to take. Uh, <laughs> so Back. Do not end that. Do not end that sentence, please. Akira's <laughs> snickering. Reiko, did you get started without me? Uh, no. But I. But maybe that would be. Better. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Yay. Bye, Himiko. <laughs> Raph didn't even <laughs> say goodbye. Cut. Cut. Oh, no, no. Took her elevator spot. Cut. Yeah. I didn't think we were slipping from her yet, so. Yep. But I guess she's gone before you know. Token, she's a ninja. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Well, she didn't even anyway. allow Raph to say goodbye. She hates the cure all, that much. We all know that she's just, she's she's just outside Raph's um, windows, waiting for him to come into his room. So, 
just outside. Of, she's she's in the in the attic. Yeah, in the she's, she's probably in his closet, sniffing his clothes. <laughs> she's right here, guys. What are you talking about? <laughs> Ceiling Himeko is watching you fuck. Yeah, exactly. Specifically, Raph. <laughs> and the Ray Chan. Yes. Welcome uh, to the ways of basically killing uh, Ak Akira on. What is it? Yeah, fuck it. Oh, God. I'm gonna be murdered. <laughs> Alright, where are we drinking? How did it go? go? Oh! Uh, it. When she, she slides into her, his peg, the maka. Uh, yes. Here's the maka. It's fine, Rikira. Really. Uh, Rico, you can find the stuff under the bed. You just go start getting that. Uh, yeah, Rick, whatever's under there, apparently. Probably yeah, that's good. fine. It's probably. Good. Wait, how much maka each did you get? 75. 75 each. Uh, you should probably bump that up to 150. I didn't realize you were going to split it that hard. So. What, split it fairly? Yeah. <laughs> Between literally everyone. Okay, so we can okay. add 75 more to that. All right. Cool. One fifty each. Sorry, Rio. Uh, here's the other half of that. It's right there. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. oh. Does Akira want to roll understanding? Yes. I'd love to. I'm going to spend You can use the real modifier. I'm going to use the real modifier and spend intuition so she feels good for it. <laughs> oh. Because she's still worried about Rio. Well. Uh -huh. Oh, that's not the right modifier. We <laughs> plus six. Hey, wait a minute. Plus six. Oh, we're at level twelve. Damn. We're at level twelve. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm just when I'm trying to find out some bullshit, I'm so used to adding more numbers. <laughs> it's, it's one. <laughs> Sick. All right. So uh, so uh, he's he's been. Uh, he, he's been petting Santa while you were gone, but he also was studying. And you you know how when you take notes or, like, do homework, you do the uh, name, date, teacher's name at the top of the yeah. page stuff? And he wrote it a bunch of time. Yeah, it's like the top part, not into the note section, but the top part of it is just covered with Ogata Rio, Rio, Rioma, Ogata Rioma, Rio, Rioma, Rioma, Ogata Rioma. Uh, Rio? Twitch, yes. Akira? You kind of wrote your name, like, a lot on that paper. <laughs> She's, like, handing you the money and just looking at it. I'll take it, and then I'll go. Right, I was practicing. Practicing your name. Mm, yes. I was practicing different I was practicing different ways of writing it, and it's all exactly the same. Sure. Um... You... <laughs> You okay, man? Or am I overstepping my boundary again by asking? He's just gonna look down at the page and then go, hmm. <sighs> well, am I okay? Akira, will you believe me if I tell you that it's better for me if there are things right now that you don't know? I believe that you think that. Well, there you go. Things are not okay, but I'd appreciate it if you don't try to get into them. It would cause more trouble. Oh. When I need you, I will tell you. For Rio, you can never know what's right for yourself. Like... You know, you're always so biased when you think of your own things. You need to, like, talk to people and get second opinions on them. And plus, you look really tired and twitchy. Akira! <laughs> One second, Reiko! Wait, is that Rio's room? That door's locked! Get out of there! <laughs> it's the yes, I the the <laughs> oh, so, oh, that's not one. yours! Okay! <laughs> no. No. Give me a minute. Listen, Rio. I, I know you don't exactly want to unload everything, and I get it, but... I mean... Just worried? Sorry. Centuries, Akira. There are centuries, literal centuries of things I have to figure out. 
If you divide centuries by two, that's only half a century. I mean, I know I'm maybe like a fourth of your mental capacity, so maybe I could take a quarter centuries. <sighs> you can do me one favor. Hmm? <sighs> and he just looks... I take it you're not going to be doing much sleeping tonight. <laughs> no, I'm fucking screwed myself, my dude. Loan me a pillow. I'm going to sleep out here in the hallway, so I'm close to Sanzo. <laughs> Aww! Okay. So run. She's not going to question that. <laughs> she grabs a pillow. <laughs> she sees Reiko found the drinks. Comes back. Here you go. <sighs> Thank you. I won't pressure you anymore, but you can't expect me not to keep asking if you're okay. You don't have to tell me, but I can't stop worrying. All right. Fine. Fine. I think I'm finally yep. starting to understand why my mother's so obnoxious. <laughs> well. <sighs> it's not as though I don't see what you're trying to do. It's very... I'm not going to call it stupid. It's not. It's very brave to think about others instead of yourself. Hmm. Well, I mean, I kind of see what you're doing, I think. So I could kind of say the same thing. You try, you're holding up a lot. I mean, it's just like, you know, the mom and how you deal with this sort of stuff. I get worried that you kind of pile it all up on your plate like that. But, I mean... It's something admirable, but I don't want you to burn out and, well, get hurt for it. That is fair. I like to think that I know well. I like to think that I understand that if I burn out, it would be bad for others as well. So I really don't want to. But it'd be bad for you also. Right. Yes, of course. But I'd eventually get over it. But anything that went wrong while I was burned out could be something that lasts forever. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. The world's tough. Right. Yes, well, it gets a lot tougher when you find out the 90% of the world you don't know about. <laughs> Yeah. This shit's crazy. Mm. Right. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for the pillow. Thank you for looking after Sanzo. Thank you for thinking about my well-being. Oh. She gives him, like, a little hair tussle. <laughs> Anytime, buddy. I mean it. And hey, if you need to come get drunk, you kind of look like a girl. I'm sure Rika would mind. This really isn't the proper occasion for drinking. I was just gonna say. <laughs> right, right. Well, if you change your mind, I left one in your pillow. There's a, there's a can in your pillow. Ah. <laughs> and she just waves off. All right. Get some rest, ah. buddy. Right. Thank you. <sighs> Did you give a can to Gander? Oh, yeah, sure. She'll toss one in. <laughs> Is that like the tribute for not judging us? Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> she'll toss one in. Alright, she'll catch it. Is this good, Genda? Mm, I'll accept this teeth. Lovely. Everything good with you today? You were kind of busy. Yes, you know. What? Mm. Hey, do you need us to like, help clean up around the dorm or something? Hmm. <sighs> I'd been doing the arrangements while you were out at school. Nobody stepped up to the plate, so... I could help. Oh. Did somebody install a cleaning conscience within you? <laughs> yeah, someone reminded me I was kind of being ungrateful. Mm. Well, I suppose we can do that uh, off in, the, in the evening tomorrow. Cool. Some bonding time. Hmm. Well, I suppose uh, 
An older woman can give you a lot of good influence. Uh, yeah, but uh, you're not that old, right? I mean, you're pretty oh, young. No, I'm only 21 after all. Exactly. Still young, old. live, and beautiful. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> I've got some uh, very legal drinking to do. Night in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Just kicks the door open. Now we're good. Yeah. Hey, about time! Oh god, you've gotten started. <laughs> nah, she's just like trying to get into the mood like... I just need a moment, a night where I don't need to think about anything. Tell me about it, holy shit. I thought tests were gonna be this thing on my mind. Nope. <laughs> Honestly, that kind of shit seems so silly right now to me. No. <sighs> yeah. The, the... Uh, if Reiko is still, like, unconscious, she's like, hmm. I mean, Koharu is with Naomi, understandable, but I don't know. Maybe Shizuka will want to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That, that girl sometimes needs, uh, like, to loosen up. <sighs> Tell me about it. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, she said she was going to be out late, but I kind of tried to ask where she was, and she just kind of, you know, did her Shizuka thing and went off. Yeah, I mean, and I, like, clumsily, like, I'll reach for my, like, phone, like, stuff. Quick knock. I quickly knock on the door. Oh. oh. Yeah. Laptop. Rap? Oh. Yeah, sure. Figure it's before just... you got too deep into your other bits. <laughs> yeah. Girl bits. That shit's great. And so just add to the laptop. Want... Take it not even looking in. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You want something to drink? Uh. Uh, sure. I can drink a little bit with Koo. Alright. So I'll give you a can or two. <laughs> Take it. One for you and one for the inner you. <laughs> Alright, thanks, bud. Yep, no worries. She'll just turn back to see Reiko, fiddle with her phone. Yeah, and like, one button at a time. Hey, <laughs> Shizuka. <laughs> we want to <laughs> drop by room one. We are chilling. <laughs> uh, Sent. Mm. Now, <laughs> let's start drinking. <laughs> Fuck, you never say so. Alright. Get fucking plastered. Mm. And, so. and if we go through it, I always have a piece to give us <laughs> <laughs> So he's just got tons of alcohol then. Yeah. That's his, that's his thing. I mean, that's yeah. what I was giving you in that rift to help you out in fight. Something, something like that. It yeah, yeah, that stuff's good. It's just like, damn, that's pretty cool. I mean, mostly Wu ma make sure I give him bananas. It's not like the other way around. Did you like always have like free booze around? That must have been a little weird as a kid. As a kid, I didn't really drink, you know, you know, mm -hmm. legal stuff. I didn't want to disappoint father, and I didn't have reasons to. Uh, mm -hmm. The life wasn't stressful. But now you're full of reasons. Uh, yeah, tell me about no, it. The, those tests, Shin talking about Judgment Day, Ascendant, Awakening stuff, Fulbright mm -hmm. learning about my powers. Like, suddenly Reiko, she starts spewing words. This is like a complete <laughs> verbal diarrhea. Katsumi tried to kill it. <laughs> Stuff like that shit. You know what? Yeah, okay. this, go this goes out too, but right after, like, after we start drinking, like, after, yeah, like, yeah. one or two more, uh, yeah, after yeah. the first, like, right. after first, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, this suicide forest, like, I think I have a... You know, mental trauma or something, because Katsumi, I thought she wanted to kill herself. 
<laughs> just this like less they like just what <laughs> suicide forest <clears throat> go okay yeah, let's... this Aki Kabahara uh, the, the thing that we went on Saturday and Ooh. I saw that her like freaking persona was trying to lure her over the edge to move uh, ahead uh, <laughs> Oh. I, I need to, oh. I need to know. Shit. Okay, one at a time, but here, and she dances something else. Okay. Let's, uh, go through this shit one at a time. Let's unpack you first. Okay. Uh, what do you want to start with? <laughs> Bye. I don't want, I don't, I don't know if I want to start with anything. I would definitely no. want this to uh, a string. But hey, I'm not gonna let you down, I guess. <sighs> what are you most interested in? And, uh, like, I don't, I don't care if you like pour in like small, you know, a, like like vodka shots yeah, or like, just like a glass. I just like I, try I, to. I imagine she's got like she bought like packs, so they're like cans under her. Bed yeah, I just stuff. like try to gulp down the entire thing like like in one or two goes. <laughs> Shit. Hmm. Uh, well, let's start with something less horrifying, possibly. What was that stuff about Shin? Oh yeah, I... You know, I felt bad that I ran away from him because I felt that he was like really scary, he had this darkness or emptiness inside of him. So I like thought I'm gonna visit him and make, make amends, channel some of my... Like, strange, like, for a smile, channel my inner sun, inner warmness uh, to him. And it's, mm. I mean, he said he'd work, but, I don't know, like, for, like, I didn't run, but I felt like it almost felt like one time he had horns on his uh, forehead. Like, mm. he had this creepy voice, but it was like, I don't know, maybe it's something with my head, maybe I was hallucinating. Shin is a good boy, yeah? You no, know, Shin's a good kid, but, I mean, he talked to me a bit earlier today about some of the, like, card and arcana stuff. He said he's the devil, so, I mean, maybe that's where the horns came from. But, uh, I mean, oh, the way he oh. talked about it, it doesn't sound like evil, like, bad. It's more like holding on to something, I think. Oh, oh, these cars, like, Rico, like, oh, the cars, like, <laughs> goes after this. Right. Uh, yeah, she, he said that, yeah, I have, the, like, I want to help Katsumi, and he said that I'm, uh, maybe he will look at her cart and fix it, and I was wondering, like, what's wrong? Didn't he give her this cart like he did to all of us? And he mentioned, you know, that no, that somebody took these cards away from him. And that's bad that these cards should be returned to him because something in the between and I remember like the end and he means the end as in like Judgment Day. Mm. And that was uh, and like I like shrug. Yeah, Sin has been kind of vague about his whole Judgment Day end thing, but it's been echoed a couple times. The cards, whatever they really are, are important. And he wants to get them all back. I don't know if they were really stolen or if he gave them or whatever, but now all we know is that people have them. And these cards? She has, like, her ripped cards. I don't think these are the ones he meant. I think these aren't real. Yeah, Fulbright says something that they have just barely any lingering, li li lingering uh, uh, sense of uh, magic. Something about shadows too, but uh, I... Shen wants to get the cards, and uh, maybe the shadows are the things that ended up having these torn apart when we went in the rift or something. <sighs> yeah, that's Strength. probably that's probably right. <laughs> we are really smart, like, like gold. You're really deep in then. Fucking rifts. 
Yeah, fucking <sighs> race. End, end, end. Uh, uh, so... Wait, where, where I was... What I was talking <laughs> mm, Cards, but... Shin... He's kind of overwhelmed you, I mean... Yeah... He goes through good and bad days, and on bad days it's kind of hard to really... I mean... He gets pretty sick. It's kind of... Worrying. I guess he just got him on a bad day. I mean, He's got a lot of shit hanging on him. He was nice, yeah, and I know, and it was probably me since this Aki Bahara, like... Everything was going nice, and then, like, things started to go... Maybe mm. not downroad, downroad spiral. <sighs> Aki, yeah, right. The forest. Why don't we go from there? So, that went really bad, Good. then? I mean, at first it was nice, you know, I was partnered with uh, the, the, uh, like, oh shit, I, for I forgot her. Jory. Uh, like, <laughs> out of character, <laughs> yes, and yeah. in character. Yeah, in character, um, forgot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, that's Senpai from the school, like, she knew her thing, she, like, traveled, like, Walk me through it, and we were like, uh, you know, exercising spirits that didn't want to go to the other side, and it was going okay. She she got my, and then yeah. and then and then I I, I go like to look for Katsumi because she didn't come back on time, and, and then I see her like, in the distance standing on the edge of a cliff, her persona in front of her, trying to like saying that she needs to take step forward. I was like wondering, like, what the fuck, like, is going on? And like, then I come closer, and she's crying, and I, and then like, like more yeah. verbal diarrhea, like almost maybe not, like I she try to feel like, kind of like, because she's st it's still like she's like, playing her trauma, and even yeah. if alcohol dumps it, like, like, uh, like tear like flows. Uh, yeah, Kira will try pulling a hug and be like, it's. It's okay, Reiko. It's it didn't happen, but that does sound fucking horrifying. Just take it a moment, deep breaths, deep <sighs> breaths. Maybe water or maybe more booze. Whatever makes you feel better. But M more, more the latter. Like <clears throat> yeah, she'll get her another can. <laughs> right. <sighs> Fuck. And like I feel like I uh, stopped drinking and like exhaled, so this is like typical anime fashion, like the cloud of like. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not good. Yeah, she's completely like I don't. I've been tearing my hair out trying to figure out how I can help her. What's worse, I I run away. I tried to like be there for her, convince her, and I felt the. Now that I think about the same thing that I felt from Shin, this this emptiness, like desolate thing inside of her that tried to get out, and I I got fucking scared. I go, I run away, and I felt like a more straighter. I promise her, I, and I like start muttering that I will keep her back. We're family after all. God damn it. Hey man, that's not exactly like your average everyday problem. You can't really beat yourself up about it for that. I mean, you talked her off the cliff, didn't you? I I don't know. This day is the less I remember about it, the better. Maybe I talked her off. Maybe she she resigned. I I met her. Like I tried to make amends. She she says she doesn't hate me. It's not my fault, but. I cannot stop feeling that way. That's yeah, I kind of get the feeling Kat's been going for some shit. I don't know. Yeah, like she's she's resigned. She she always wanted like to not be powerless. Like since her like earliest days, the the re like what I'm talking about. Akira must not understand, but I'm referring to that yeah. backflash. Yeah. Yeah, she, she's trying her best to follow through. So she had trouble completing it or something? 
Yeah, yeah like her persona, like in, if I remember, like maybe it was only Shin's flashback or, or maybe not, but it didn't come and I played it hard. And like, uh, she always, she wasn't obsessed, she's not obsessed with power, but she, that was the path she wanted to set for herself. And now, now she's like, I don't see, she was stiff, but I don't see life within her. I talked in the garden like the day ago or two days ago and she's like it looks like she's fine with what the, the second best buff she has but I, I know it's not that so I've been so I've been peeling onto that onto everything else I just tried to bomb rush and learn everything about my power I could <laughs> like maybe f fix her fix her soul to maybe change her for the uh, uh, isn't that a bit uh, invasive I mean cat's kind of a stubborn asshole uh, maybe better words we never got along too well but she really didn't take too well to people doing stuff like that to her in the past Koharu kind I mean, she got into a spat with Koharu over that, and Koharu is Koharu. It's kind of hard to get really upset with her, unless she's being fucking silly. Uh, uh, she will... Uh, go, she will... She will... Uh, under, understand. I will, I will convince her. This mm. will be like only guiding her, making sure like I have a plan. And when I like talking, like <laughs> this is almost desperate. Like I'm trying to like smile. Like this is like the plan that makes me like lifting up my spirits. But to Akira is pretty yeah, obvious it's that fucking bad. Maybe not bad. I mean, she can treat it as bad, but like what I'm getting <laughs> yeah. at, like it feels ki slightly desperate. It's, you're convincing like, yourself of something more like uh, yeah, reassuring. Like you. Sure. <laughs> understand you like not helping but making sure that she's she could realize her f whole potential like fixing mm. framework and then she can have all well, this stuff again i will like fix her there you go you know how <laughs> Does fixing someone's soul sounds a bit crazy oh you know this inner domain stuff i just need to do a Thing that will help her out. Oh, and I need to convince her to get her card to Shin or visit him in the first place. It, it has to work out. It has to. One step at a time. <laughs> One step at a time, Reiko. Um. <sighs> Jesus Christ, yeah. Um. Listen, if there's someone who could probably cheer someone up, it's probably going to be you, but maybe you're going about it a bit too directly? No, it's not about cheering up, it's about... As a member of Fujiwara clan, it's like, ugh, my my duty to provide guidance to people. Uh, are you doing it because of your duties or because you want to help her i mean mostly the latter but why not both if i can feel i feel strongly about it it will certainly be better all right go don't take this the wrong way but well my experience knowing how your family deals with things through their spiritual exercises seems like they always fucking go horribly <laughs> I, Koharu would tell that she was there with like father me. I cut her uh, hand. It yeah, was, like, blood yeah, and she saw she saw Hiroshima blowing up, and she came home breaking down basically. She kind of had a freak out about that. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. I mean, different rituals, I guess. Like, helpless shock. 
messing with someone's head, that's kind of like your family's exorcism. 